Hey y'all. Um, we're currently in Rialto or something like that. And um we just came here because our hotel reservations aren't till today and we are here yesterday. So we spent the night at my mom's friend's house from the pin. Shout out to Karen. Um OOTD, my friend's shirt. Can you dig it? Um, these shorts I got from Ross. My stepmom's coat. You see my butt, right? Oh my gosh, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> Yikes, they're ugly. Um, so yeah, no big deal. Let's get or whatever. I'm just going to the car to get something to drink. Yikes, don't look at my license plate. The best thing in life isn't free. The best things in life aren't free. Whatever. Um honestly I'm just keep I just keep rambling because I don't really know what to talk about. And I don't know. Guys, this is so lit out here. I might this might be an everyday type of every day. What the heck am I talking about? This might be an every summer type of activity, like we lit. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey guys, we're at Off Broadway Shoe Warehouse. And my ears is uh doing that weird thing again. Here's my brother. He's gonna be walking around recording me. Check out record me. You know, get my O O T D. I can't. Do you see my whole offer? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Make sure you port around the store. You go first. Today, get my face. Can you see my face? So today, you know, we're broke, so we're not getting anything. But soon we're gonna be walking the, the walk of fame. Show them their shoes. Make sure to follow our Instagram at the DM team. Keep your head down, head comes up, it comes off, right? Do us a favor and clap your hands like this. Everybody, Everybody clap. Here we go. Everybody clap when he lands, make some noise. Here we go. And he's coming. Get your cameras out and make some noise. Get up. Let's hold hands. We're about Do you stay here or not? Okay. I'll tell you why in a minute. There's the Chinese theater, home of almost every movie premiere in Hollywood history. Now they're both 90 years old. They're the oldest movie theater and the oldest hotel. I always tell everyone, go to the Roosevelt because so many celebrities go there. Guys, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, so shout out to LA. Shout out to the Music Bowl. Us. And it's pretty cool. I seen where Justin Bieber used to live. Out your way. Huh. Now. Yeah. Show them the A literal house on the hill.
It's a big one. His name is Eric Murillo. Anyone heard of him? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Yeah, that's move it, Sal. So right up there. <laughs> His house is nice. It's huge. Now the reason it's on the cheap side, it's only eight million, uh, is because of the foundation. You see this? Wash out? I'm serious. He can't get earthquake or flood insurance or anything. Seriously. Because it's got a shaky kind of a foundation. So he I figured, well, the land's there. worth eight million, even if he had to tear the house down or something. The land's so valuable. Because look at it. Huge. Like the one of uh, Justin Bieber I'm going to show you, it's brand new, 16 million. And the land in the house is not as big as this one, see? But it's brand new and it doesn't have a foundation problem. So, you know, it's worth twice as much. But this one's bigger. There's the Biebs up on the top. Now, he's from Ontario, Canada, and he's 23 years old. I said already, though, originally this was Demi Moore's and Ashton Kutcher's when they were married to each other. See it up on the top? Yeah, it's not the, the white one or anything. Right? It's that one, the contemporary. Whoa, that's a house? Yeah, that's his. $16 million. They're probably worth more than that now. The real estate's flying. I think this is probably Khaled's house or something. That boy is huge. They know him as Mr. Selma Hyatt. But he's a fashion uh, mogul. He's not a designer. He just owns the brands. You know, like the shareholder. Uh, his two biggest shareholdings are uh, Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent. That's him. He's, he is a multi-billionaire. And that's her home. They've been married for 10 years. I mean, it's not something new. But he's a billionaire. He's got all this stuff. So now we're going into Beverly Hills. But just on the tour, I'd like to teach you a little bit more than just, you know, what you see on TV, TMZ, you know, the scratch beneath the surface. I'm just telling you, this place is very controlled by conservatives. You know what I mean? The girls just live here. But this is it. This is a hundred million like the Playboy Mansion on this corner on the right. And this is the famous Pink Palace, the Beverly Hills Hotel is like the most famous celebrity hotel in the world. You see this place? Right across from the Hadiths. This is legend. So many billionaires, millionaires, and celebrities have lived there. They have 24 private homes in the back. Okay. And ranch in Santa Barbara. Understand? He died here on Carrollwood Drive. He was renting the house for 125000 a month. And he only lived here three years when he, uh, excuse me, three weeks when he died here. He had only been living here for three weeks. R.I.P. Um, Michael. And then this one's a, this is Snoop Dogg 75 million. These are three 75 million dollar mansions. Snoop's goes all the way from those gates, just like the Michael one, but he didn't own it. And the eldest one, you see where the Escalade's up there at the other end? Now y'all know yeah. That's Snoop still Dogg Snoop's lives. property. This is Snoop's, but I don't think he's home. I don't smell any marijuana in here. <laughs> nope, I'd know it if he was home. We'd all know it. Brooklyn, New York. Goes all the way down the street here on the right. It's huge. Eddie Murphy's. Ooh, He's look. from Brooklyn. And do you know he has nine children with seven different women? Two wives and five other women. One is Mel B. Scary Spice from the Spice Girl. Yeah. And none of his uh, women nor his children live here. He uh, lives here by himself. It's huge. Look how big this estate is. Like the others. Where's my invitation? I drive by here every day. You already know what time it is? Oh, strike a pose. Oh, strike a pose. Oh, strike a pose. Hey, throw up your gang sign. Yeah. Hey, throw up crip. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm absolutely done.
It's warm in here. Look at these bathrooms, y'all. Hello. I see my space is in this. That, that might be the. The deep one is the first one. Come shut. Okay, so now we're at IHOP. Now we're at IHOP and it's the end of our day. It's currently, I don't know what Oh, right here. See? Can we sit over there? Can we sit over there? Right. Can we sit at the booth? Can we sit at the booth? Can we sit at the booth? Yes, sure. If it's five percent. Yeah, okay. This is maybe sit at the table. Is there a something I can charge my phone? You kid. Oh, you kid. Wait, I'm going to sit by you. Look at how tidy this is. Look at that. Ow! Look at her. That's so cool. So, um. Right now, we're my brother. Right now we're eating. Um, we're not eating, but we just got here, and I got an algae right there. Okay, where are we, Jayla? Do you want some algae we, on that? We were. Yes. Oh, there, yeah. Algae. Okay. Okay. So, so we are at this place. It's the gooey stuff. We had. Um, so we are at home. Are you Carrie on I'm talking about what restaurant? <laughs> what restaurant are we oh, at? I think I'm like Jim Carrey on a rest day. It's I H I H. No, it's like And what does that say? I I hope. I hop. Okay. <laughs> We're at I hope. I hope. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm ending the vlog here. That's, that's her no big deal. Okay. Hold up. Please don't start smacking in my ear. Oh yes. Cool point. Okay. Good night. What's up? Okay. How's that bacon? Don't work. What's this? Some silver. Okay, I'm signing out. Go on here, drop the phone, Jennifer. This one.